drones launched in a matter of seconds with a mission to stop any threat. Our investigative reporter Katie Legrone traveled halfway across the country to take you inside the command center and tonight she's showing you the tactics that will soon be tested in Florida school districts. What is this room? Yeah, so this is one of the rooms where we would have one team. The whole team consists of 11 different people. We have four pilots, two on that side, two on that side. The commander sits in the middle. If this looks and sounds like a page out of a U.S. military command center. Just to my right would be the threat trackers. That's exactly what Bill King and his team are aiming for. And we are leaning so far forward that only one pilot can go to the bathroom at a time. No kidding. Yeah, I mean, if we're because if we're going to make a decision in five seconds, that decision, how to stop a school shooter before they get the chance to kill. I wish we didn't have this problem. What I think we've got here is a solution that can bypass politics. A former Navy SEAL, King piloted Predator drones for the U.S. military overseas, which is why cybersecurity expert Justin Marston tapped him to partner up on his latest and perhaps most consequential business endeavor. Ending mass school shootings in the U.S., not with guns and ammunition, but drones and expert precision. How the heck did this idea come up? I had the idea originally just looking at how successful these little drones were against people with guns in Ukraine, and then looking at Parkland and Uvalde and shootings like that, you know, most of the death happens in the first two minutes. So the challenge was how do you get something that's instantaneous, but elite and still affordable? Here's how it works. Schools would be equipped with a few dozen drones stored in strategic locations across campus. Once an alert is triggered, the encrypted drones designed for low delay are deployed and within seconds are airborne by professional drone pilots who control these high flying devices from this command center in Austin, more than 1,000 miles away from Florida. Once these drones are activated, tiny is everything. Within five seconds, they're deployed. 15 seconds, they've already engaged the shooter. And by one minute, they've taken the shooter down. There's somebody dedicated to window breaking, so we can essentially pick which drone we want to use and go after him. Mason Lively is among the professional drone pilots recruited to fly. If he looks young, he is. I've got to ask you, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 25. But his early career already includes drone development, and he's a world champion drone racer. It's a thing in how most of these young pilots were recruited. Still doing the racing, still go around and do all that for fun, less so than like a job now. For Lively, landing his gig as a full-time drone racing champ to fly as a full-time guardian angel was personal. I graduated high school in 2018, mm. um, and I grew up in Florida, in Melbourne, Florida, so. No kidding. Yeah, I had friends of friends that went to Parkland, so I was very aware of that and very aware of what happened there. And then when they talked about what they were going to do here, that's a big reason why I came up. Are you a little nervous? I mean, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous. I think, you know, preparation can kill that, right? So. If you're prepared and we're training all the time. The team's ultimate goal, buy time for first responders and then navigate them to exactly where a shooter is located. If we can get a shooter to do anything besides shoot people, we're winning, right? If you're shooting at the drone, great. We love that. If you're trying to hit the drone with a broomstick, great. We love that. If you're running from the drones, perfect. So anything that happens that can distract him from what he came there to do including deploying what company leaders call non-lethal distractors. From flashing lights and loud sirens to pellet banks. And if necessary. So they're actually gonna do a demonstration for us that shows how physical these drones can get. Ooh, wow. According to the K-12 school shooting database, since the 2018 high school shooting in Parkland, more than 60 school shootings have been reported in Florida alone, among the highest nationwide. 
While these drones are expected to launch in Colorado, Virginia, and Texas, Florida is the first state in the country to approve state funding for them. Last session, state lawmakers determined not to repeat Parkland, approved $557,000 to test these drones in three school districts. The state has yet to announce where, but King says they've already received the blessing from several Parkland parents, including Max Schachter, whose 17 year old son Alex was among the victims there. The first time we showed it to him, he's like, I have seen a lot of stuff since my son died. This is the only thing I've seen that could have saved his life. What did that mean to you when you heard him say that? That's what we want to do, right? I mean, the best feeling in the world is to rescue officers. And that's what we're going to do here. High tech, high flying, and high hopes these drones might be one more weapon for the good guys to stop the bad guys on campus from becoming deadly. In Austin, Texas, I'm Katie Legrone, Tampa Bay 28. Great story. Thank you, Katie. And if you want to learn more about this drone pilot program, Katie put more details on our website. That's at tampabay28.com.